Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and I've got the Z-Rater aerator attachment set up on my 52 inch Z3X for the first time. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys how I mounted it up for one, uh, where I ran the wiring, the switch, etc. And then we're going to try it out here on the front yard. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to work today because it's dry, we haven't had any rain and uh, close to a week and I haven't been watering my lawn so this is on dry ground so it ought to be a, a good test of of how well this thing will work but so what I did is I took I took the brackets these two pieces of a half inch plate and the two bolts okay that's what constitutes the mounting bracket it was bolted right here and the two pieces ran out so that you can attach them to the fork you know top and bottom across the fork. Well that doesn't really work um, it doesn't really work with my mower because there just isn't a good place to do that. So what I did is I set the unit on top and just ran the plate right in front and it's got just enough room to go behind so that the front pivoting arm can still do everything it's supposed to do and then this bottom bolt is just uh, at the very bottom of the hole so that the head of the bolt still allows the arm to move. And again, this is the first time one of these have been mounted on a on a 52 inch Z3X, well, a Z3X period. So, so I'm kind of figuring all of this out for the first time, uh, how everything can work. So that's what I did on the brackets on both sides. So it's just mounted to that front arm. It's not mounted to any other part of the mower. Uh, seems to be pretty solid. I mean, the unit is up in the air right now. I've driven it around a little bit, just kind of seeing, you know, if it bounces a lot or anything like that. It seems to be good. So, so that's how I've got it mounted to the mower. The next thing I did was I raised this up. You uh, you loosen this bolt right here, and this sleeve moves up and down, and that's what gives you the adjustment for your height. So, I've got it adjusted up high enough that I can get this thing. I can get the tines a foot off the ground and that's more than enough clearance for me to be able to get in and out of my trailer, uh, go over driveways, curbs, you know, anything like that. So uh, that's where I have it adjusted to right now. My wiring, I went ahead and zip tied it right here as it comes out of the motor so that this part doesn't bounce around a lot and uh, put any strain on the wires going into the motor. And then after I zip tied it there, the rest of it is just, it's just loose, but it's ran up through here. And that was to avoid the muffler. I didn't want the wiring anywhere near the muffler. I didn't want to write, run it down and go along the frame um, because it's not, you know, a permanent attachment. It's obviously going to be coming off and going back on at different times. And then it's ran over the, the breather and then down here. And at this point, I ran it with my factory wiring, which comes up at the bottom of the battery box. Uh, it comes up at the bottom of the battery box. I went ahead and ran my, my power and my negative, hooked that up to the battery. Uh, it's very simple. It's got a fuse under here, so if I blow a fuse, it's right underneath this lid. And then what I did is I took my little switch box, and I just bolted it to this bracket. This bracket already has pre-drilled holes. And so I just bolted this little box right to it. And the reason I put it there was because it's, it's out of the way. It shouldn't be getting bumped or hit by any branches or, you know, bushes or anything like that because it has this and it has the, the handle for the quick shoot kind of protecting it. It's still easy to reach from the control panel. So, you know, I'm standing up here on the control panel. I don't have to bend over or anything. Just reach over and hit the switch. So the way I the way I set the switch up, let's see here. So when you push the switch forward, the unit goes down, and it's super quiet. It's just letting the jack out. Okay, so now it's making contact. Okay, and that's the max lift on the jack. Uh, that's got my front tires completely off the ground, okay? So, whatever penetration it's gonna get, I mean, that's, you know, that's the maximum down pressure right there. 
so we'll see if it, if it goes an inch, two inches, three inches. I don't know what it's going to do on dry ground. It's just the weight of, its, of itself plus the weight of the Z3X in the front end, which that's a decent amount of weight with the way the engine's balanced and the weight of the deck and frame. So we'll see how well it does. But anyways, uh, forward on the switch is down and reverse, or you know, back on the switch is up. And I like that. It'll be easy to remember that way. I won't accidentally, you know, go one way or the other when I don't mean to. So, uh, I guess that's it for the setup, guys.
So it definitely handles differently with the aerator on the front. Um, you got to really be careful on your turns, which you actually have to do when you go to turn around. Not if you're just making a, a curve, but if you're actually turning around, like if you were striping a lawn, um, you come to a complete stop, back up a little ways, and then make your turn. Um, because there's, there's so much distance between the aerator tines and the back tires that you'll start to uh, spin out. I actually tore up my yard a little bit getting used to it, but I'd rather tear up mine getting used to it than someone else's. So uh, let's see what the plugs look like on this ground. It is very, very dry. Here's a bunch of plugs in an area that I ran over quite a bit. So, so that's a plug that's uh, probably inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Another one. Yeah, so they're, they're all about the same. Probably about an inch, between an inch and an inch and a half um, of depth. And that's on hard, dry ground. And we all know with aeration, it's better to, it's better to do it when the ground is, is softened up, either by running the sprinkler or, and or, you know, rain. So, but it did pull a, a good plug out of that dry ground. I mean, I'm, kind of surprised it, it was able to pull anything because I don't have very good dirt it's um, you know it's, this is my yard so you know nothing to brag about or or talk down but it's it's just not great dirt it's uh, it's got a lot of clay in it and uh, it's very hard even though I, I aerate and and do all the stuff you're supposed to do um, except for running the sprinkler here the last few days but uh, anyway so that's that's kind of the first run of the of the Z-Raider aerator attachment. Um, it is September, and I'll be doing a bunch of these for customers as soon as we get some rain, or uh, you know the customers that have irrigation. I can go ahead and and do those. Uh, and I'm actually going to go do a little job with it right now for a, another lawn care company in town that does not have an aerator um, they just need some ground aerated up to throw some seed down and uh, you know even even only pulling up an inch plug it'll be it'll be good enough to drop down some grass seed and get it started so anyway that's it for now guys thanks for watching um, plan on doing quite a few more videos with this thing and uh, and really running it through the ringer so as always, thanks for watching. Get out there and make some money, and we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.